Pasta night is a big deal at my house and today we are doing my big mushroom pasta. That's right, lots and lots of mushrooms. I use two ingredients for extra umami and a little bit of texture and I don't use any heavy cream. You better believe though, this is all the comfort right here. Ready for it? I'm Susie with TheMediterraneanDish.com, your number one resource for Mediterranean cooking. If you're new here, subscribe and follow this channel for more delicious videos every single week. We have got a very mushroomy situation. I'm talking, this is mushroom lovers pasta, you guys. Ready for it? We've got three different mushrooms right here. We've got baby bellas, white button mushrooms, and these hefty portobello mushrooms, which will give this pasta all the flavor and all the heft. First of all though, let's get our pasta cooking. I've got some boiling water with a lots of salt in it and I have some beautiful pasta right here. So get in the bowl and take a look at this pasta because you want some texture to your pasta here. This will help all the flavor kind of just stick to your pasta when the time comes. So texture is a big deal. Water is happily bubbling, so we're gonna drop our pasta. This is about a half a pound of pasta, eight ounces. Goes right in the water, and we'll let it cook for a few minutes. Okay, so like I said, three kinds of mushrooms. Look at me, I'm prepared. I've already sliced them up. You can slice them, you can half them. You can do a little bit of both to kind of get a good, you know, texture going. And for these meaty ones, I actually wanna chop them up real small kind of a rough chop, nothing fancy. Big, small pieces, whatever, you know. Portobellos are like meaty and earthy tasting, so they're just the perfect thing to add to your pasta. So what I have here is about eight-ish ounces of each of the mushrooms for a total of like, you know, about one and a half pounds or so. Now, like, I wouldn't fret if all you have is, like, one kind of mushrooms. This, it will still work. I'm just thinking that this gives you more interest and more depth of flavor and more, I don't know. It's more exciting. So this looks like a lot of mushrooms, which it is, but once you cook it all together in the skillet, it will cook down. It will be just the perfect amount for your pasta, so do not be alarmed. Medium high-ish heat large skillet because you're gonna put a lot of mushrooms here. We're gonna start with, wait for it, extra virgin olive oil. You need like a good third of a cup. Trust me on this, I told you I'm not using cream, but I do need something to make this delicious and comforting, right? So we're gonna do a good bit of extra virgin olive oil and then just one tablespoon of butter. This is like one of the only times that you'll see me using butter, but with extra virgin olive oil. So we're good, we're good you guys. We're gonna get this party melting and then we're gonna do some shallots and some garlic. Medium-ish high heat. Manage the heat though, you don't wanna burn your garlic. So first we're gonna go in with the shallots. All right, shallots. Go in with my garlic. You, you know what, like I could eat garlic and onion all day long. Like this here could be my dinner, I'm just saying. <laughs> good things are happening right here, right now. Smells so good. So what I'm looking for is for the onions and garlic to kind of soften, release some juices, some aromas, you know. All right, now we're gonna add our mushroom party, okay? Portobello's. These are the white buttons. And then we've got the baby bellas. Joining the mushroom party. It's a mountain of mushrooms and it's gonna cook down and you might need to help it with a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Big sprinkle of kosher salt, black pepper, and about one teaspoon or so of some good dry rosemary. I wish you could smell this because it's just gorgeous right now. I think my pasta is also ready, so while my mushrooms cook down a little bit, I'm gonna take care of the pasta and drain it. Always make sure you keep some of that pasta water. Here we go. Mm, that's good. 
This is looking really good. We're gonna add some more flavor makers, you guys. So I told you that I use a couple of secret ingredients for extra umami, and those two are tomato paste and red wine. This is the umami factor right here, you guys. So good. And just a quarter cup of red wine. I'm using a Merlot, and it doesn't have to be expensive, but you need to be able to eat it <laughs> or drink. Eat it, drink it. Okay, never mind. Like it needs to taste good, you know? Remember that pasta water I told you to keep? That's gonna come in handy right now. Let's start with a half a cup right here and that's probably all we need. Good things are happening. Yes. Loving it, loving it. See that? That is an amazing, super tasty, mushroomy, saucy situation without heavy cream and it is all the comfort. So good. All right, this is looking great for the sauce. We're gonna add in our pasta. We've got a couple of very important additions, you guys, at this point in time. Now, if you're feeling like you need just a little bit more sauce, what do you do? You add a little bit of the starchy pasta water. I know I use like triple the amount of mushroom to the pasta and that's on purpose because look at what happened. The mushrooms cook down so much that they're just enough for the pasta. So now let's go in with some Parmigiano Reggiano. I got a big block this time because we love this stuff. But even grated Parmesan is fine. I like to freshly grade whenever I can though. Makes a difference. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Throw some parsley in. Secret ingredient, don't go anywhere. Walnuts. That's right, walnuts. They're gonna add a nice nutty flavor that complements our beautiful mushrooms here with the rosemary, such comforting flavors all together. So we've got some walnut halves and we're just gonna give them a rough chop. Go in with our walnuts. Some red pepper flakes. And give it a good stir. Let all these beautiful flavors combine. All right, this is looking so gorgeous and so rich. I can't wait to dig in, you guys. There's more pasta recipes right here on the channel. Definitely check them out, but definitely grab the recipe for this amazing mushroom pasta over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later, ciao. Mm. Oh yeah. Good. Actually, this is a keeper. <laughs>